Hi friend and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make radiants on Vectorinator. So I'll start with the leg of the character that I made in the last video. You have to select the part that you want to put the, the gradient and here I want to put some shade. So tap on the color and then pick gradient and then you see the gradient goes from purple to this very dark black. So first I'm going to just change the, the amount that I want of the dark color and then I'm not happy with the black so I tap on the darkest of the two colors then I pick another one and I can change it to whatever I want. I'm going to do that many times in the video so don't worry you can see that again. So here's the same you pick the... Um, the shape that you want to add the gradient to color gradient and here it was already saved in the history so i didn't have to redo the same process but later i'll have to do it again and as you can see you can just um, you can change the way the the color is shaping by moving this little dots the orange dots around then I wanted to add more color also to the um, to the wood so I did the same thing here too so I picked gradient then I had to change the darker color again and then you have to click on gradient again that's the only tricky part i don't know if i'm doing something wrong that it always goes back to the um, like the full color but um yeah so i always have to change something and here you can see i'm just playing around with this little thing just to see how i want the shade to be You, do, you can extend it, you can make it very, very low, like almost nothing, if you want. So it really depends on how you want to use the gradient. Also, uh, I know that the way I, I mean, usually I pick a point where the, the light will come from. Um, and then I'll just make the gradients according to that. But here I just wanted to to make something easy. So basically make it a little bit more dark where the, um, the body parts are supposed to be a bit darker. So close to the face, close to the, the clothes, etc. But I know it's not accurate, so don't come at me for that. Like this is just for me to show you how to use this tool. And here you can see again, I had to change the darker color so that it's not just a pitch black dark, but it's just a, a little bit darker than the green that I already had. And then the face, so the antenna first. Yeah, I wasn't sure where to put the, the dark, the, the shade, I mean. Um, the good thing, I mean, I keep zooming in and out because it's easier to see when you zoom out if it looks right or not. So for the face, I just made a little bit from the side just to give it a little bit of depth. Okay, so I just realized now that I don't think I made the, the shoes, <laughs> but uh, it would be the same process. And now we're going to go a little bit faster for uh, this character, because it's always the same process. So choose the, the shape that you want to put some gradient in and then go to the color section tap on gradient 
And then if you want to change the darker color, that it's not just black, but a shade of the same color, or you can also pick any other color you want. If you want to make something that um, it goes from orange to purple, let's say, you can definitely do that. So here I'm just rearranging some of the, the parts because I wasn't happy with it. And then I continued with the t-shirt, I mean the sweatshirt, again, radiant. Yeah. Here is not so obvious. The, the the colors are not so obvious. Also, I could have changed and made it a bit darker on one side, but um, I made it very easy, so you could just see how to use it. And that's it. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.